This is a video on how to do the overhead laser alignment QA for a tomotherapy. We're going to start by setting up a 5 cm piece of solid water with a piece of film laying diagonally across the solid water. Tape down the corners of the film to keep it from moving while we mark it. The next thing we want to do is position the film in the Z dimension. So we do that by moving the phantom into the bore to account for couch sag and then adjusting the height of the couch until the green laser is skimming just across the surface of the film. Pull the film back out of the bore until the green lasers are approximately in the middle of it and then use a thumbtack to put either three or four holes in the film in the center of the green lasers. And when done with that, cover the film with a 1 cm piece of solid water. Outside at the operator station, we're going to pull up the overhead laser alignment patient. We can generate a QA procedure and click prepare calibration and we can head back inside. Back inside of the machine we are going to hit main ready and yes that will move the phantom inside the bore and back outside at the OS we can turn the key to treat and push start. When that has finished delivering you can go inside and remove the solid water from your film and you should see something like this. Take that film down to the film scanner. I like to align it on the left hand side of the scanner. In the software, and I use the RIT TG148 software, we're going to type the name of the file we want our film saved as. Make sure the scan settings you have are correct for what you want to do and hit scan films. When you hit that, you will see the film scanner start to pull the film through. And back in the RIT software, you will see the image of your film pop up. And if you're happy with that, go ahead and click accept film and close. Then up at the top menu, select Tomotherapy Machine QA and the Overhead Laser Alignment Tool. And if everything is going well, the software will automatically align the image for you. Once it's done that, click Analyze Image and it will display the results of the test. And that's it. That's all.